Hey guys, I'm Asya and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be uh, looking at the friction heater, uh, which is essentially the uh, way of automatic um, smelting. Um, I've got a friend who came from the Never apparently. I'm not quite sure how he got in here though, but he is in here. I'll push him off the platform at some point. But on to the friction heater. Um, the friction heater requires 32 Newton meters of force. Uh, and 8192 watts of power. Also, we've got a gasoline engine here, which is what we're going to be using temporarily, um, which has 128 new meters. So, we're going to uh, 4x uh, speed gearbox that up um, to increase the speed um, and to essentially, uh, well, overclock the uh, performance of the um, friction heater. Um, I could do this with a uh, just an ordinary steam engine like the ones I've got up there because um, that'll be fine uh, but I want to show you guys uh, essentially how you can overclock stuff to uh, in this case particularly the friction heater to essentially smelt stuff faster so we've already got the engine there um, I've got some <coughs> sludge here that needs to be cooked up so we're gonna be cooking that um, I sh the pigs freaking me out now I've got the ethanol crystals just for the fuel uh, we've got to make a, a gearbox uh, which is pretty easy I'm just going to make a four times one, uh, making out of stone because the stone can handle up to about uh, I think eleven thousand rads, but the wood one can only handle about three thousand something. Um, so I'm going to go stone. Actually, wood one probably would work. I'm not going to check that. Wood. Uh, no, next, next. Look, max. Okay. Oh, looking at this. Oh, flywheels. No. Ah, okay, stone. This is 11,000. 3,577 rads. And the, the, uh, the gasoline engine puts out at 512. We'll be upping that by 4. So that should be about 2,000 or so. So the wood one would be able to do it, but uh, I'll use wood anyway. Stone since I've already made it. And so the next one is the friction heater, which is pretty easy. 3 HCL steel units, 2 base panels, and 2 shaft units, pretty easy. Uh, and of course I'm going to need some cobblestone, which I probably don't have. Uh, I should have some compressed cobblestone somewhere. Uh, look, just as much as I need. So I'm going to need a, a furnace, an ordinary one from Minecraft, so that's how the machine essentially works. I'm going to put the machine straight up, just so we can see how um, just running it at the uh, base 512 speed that the engine puts out, how well it does in regards to furnace heating stuff. So I'm just going to chuck a little bit of fuel in there. Uh, two minutes, that should be enough. As you can see, it's heating up. Uh, the whale says it's about 600 degrees Celsius. Mind you, you can use this thing to heat up the uh, blast furnace as well if you're in a cold area. Um, you can also use it to heat up uh, other machines that require heat too. Um, none that I can think of right now. Obviously, it's working because we can see the heat, so let's just chuck a couple in there to see how fast it cooks. Oh, wrong one. Wrong type. This stuff. Yeah, so it's a base speed of 512, but it cooks pretty fast. But uh, let's see if we can get it to cook a little bit faster though. Oop, and that's gone. I'm going to break this just so it stops and this one put the engine back down again going to get our 4x gearbox and the screwdriver shift right click on it to go in speed mode so it's in speed now so it should be putting out uh, 2048 rads a second I think and I'm going to put that there and here like that and first of all we need to get some uh, lubricant into that gearbox so it doesn't explode. Okay, where's the closest lubricant source? Where? That's all the way over there. Oh, I don't, I don't want to fall in there. Okay, what's a better way of doing this? <laughs> Have I got a bucket? I've got a bucket. I'll just do it the uh, manual way. Since I'll probably be moving the setup later anyway. Just gonna bucket out of this tank I've got. 
Um, there we go, it's got a little bit of lubricant, that should last for the time we need to fix it up anyway. So that should be 512 into 2048 rads. Uh, at, so at this point it should come out at 32 Newton meters, which is the required for this, and it should cook a little bit faster. Okay, so it's cooking up. Okay, I'm going to see how fast it cooked just when it hasn't heated up, so it's pretty fast now. Okay, 670. I'll be back when it stops uh, cooking up heating up. Okay I'm back and it doesn't appear to be getting any higher than 703 degrees Celsius. Uh, I've done a little bit of reading on the friction heater and it does say that matching uh, torque and speed will improve the efficiency. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, essentially stop this. Go to the gearbox and I'm going to put a two times gearbox in there which is on torque mode. Uh, so if the gasoline engine outputs at um, 128 Newton meters and speed of 512, if we put a 2x gearbox in there to up the torque, we should get 256 Newton meters of torque, and we should then down, uh, downgrade the speed to 256. So um, if it is correct, we sh probably should see a difference. So uh, okay, let's just see what temperature of it now. For, uh, it cools down pretty fast. Uh, okay, I'll be back when it cools, uh, heats up or something. Okay guys, I'm back and it does appear that matching the torque and speed definitely does help. Um, when I was having the, uh, the engine, um, four times speed up to 2048 rads a second, uh, the temperature was at 706 degrees. Um, even though we haven't got up to 800 degrees, uh, 793 is almost 100 degrees extra, and that's just from um, uh, essentially increasing the torque by two and decreasing the speed by a factor of two. Um, so, what we can say is that in the case of the friction heater, um, making sure the engine and the, uh, or the engine speed and the engine torque uh, are as close as possible. Uh, so, let's just see how fast this cooks now. Yeah, I think it cooks a little bit faster. It cooks faster than any, uh, than any, uh, fantasy derived have. I mean, in a previous se season, I hooked a, uh, a nuclear reactor up to one of these things, and it's, uh, instant cook. Like, you put a stack in there, you get a stack there. So, <laughs> the power of a radio craft. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it for today guys. As you can see, I'm getting experience from cooking this too. Uh, and uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, hit me up in the comments down below. Uh, if you like the video, that'd be great. If you could share the video on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, social Tumblr type social media things that I don't understand all the time, uh, that would help. And uh, subscribing would help too, uh, especially if you want to see me heat more objects up. Um, and maybe sometimes exploit them, because that's what I do. Uh, and until next time, guys. Nah.